I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but up close, baby girl face is sitting, okay? Sitting. <laughs> hi guys welcome or welcome back to the channel if you're new here i am shelly your new favorite youtuber and if you've already been here as always thank you so much for supporting my channel and again welcome back now in today's video we're gonna be doing this very pretty simple makeup look and you guys i used all drugstore products can you believe it all drugstore like no high-end whatsoever and I'm so excited about it because I picked up quite a few new products from Target the other day when I went there and I'm like I gotta give the girls what the girls are asking for so here we go with another drugstore video I want to thank clay here for sponsoring today's video this is their 24 inch body wave auburn wig I will have all of the details about the hair listed in the description box down below as well as the products that I'm using in today's video so be sure to check that out also don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave some comments down below as you're watching letting me know your thoughts on the video I don't want to do too much talking in the intro so let's go ahead and jump right into it let me clean my camera off so that we can get started okay oh that's so much better so I just finished my skincare and the serum that I use is like a primer so I'm not gonna use a primer today but I'm gonna go in first with this Neutrogena radiant cream concealer and it looks a little bit oh I don't like that that's really yellow that's super golden I don't like golden concealers anymore so I have this covergirl true blend undercover concealer in the shade golden caramel this one's still kind of like an olive golden tone but it's not super yellow like that one like the Neutrogena one so I'm gonna use this one just to kind of conceal and now and blend wait the cover girl is really that girl Do you guys, whoa, okay. And I mixed the two together, but the cover girl is the shade that I love. Oh my God, it's super good. And I had this one for a while. I just haven't used it in a long time. I have so many products that I forget which ones I love. Now I'm kind of scared about using this Neutrogena Flawless Matte CC Cream on my face. I feel like it's not gonna be the right shade. I got the shade Amber. Now let's see, I'm scared y'all. Oh, okay, that might, that might work. Let's see, it says full coverage matte color correcting cream formulated with niacinamide and designed to mask skin imperfections and even skin tone for a flawless looking complexion. It says free from oil, fragrance, parabens, and a word I'm not gonna try to say. <laughs> Let me not overdo it because I always seem to really overdo it when I'm applying product. And now we blend. The coverage on this is amazing. I cannot believe how good how good that coverage is oh my god I know a lot of you always ask me questions about my looks if they are oily girl friendly and I just want to say I am an oily combination girl so hope that helps so if you're dry just moisturize really well and I don't I don't think you'll have any problems but I'm just gonna apply the blush oh my god this blush is gorgeous and this one, what shade is, oh, it's in, it's the Elf Putty Blush in the shade Bora Bora. Look how pretty and pink that is. Oh, 
This blush is very subtle but very pretty. So I'm gonna put a little on my nose. Just because I've been really loving the way that that like flushed look has been working out for me. I'm gonna set under my eyes and I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Powder for a normal skin. And I got it in the shade Translucent. Okay. Cute. Every time I get a new translucent powder or a new loose powder, I like to rub it on the back of my hand, see if, if like how it feels. I like to see what the texture is like. Why does this smell like Noxzema? Do y'all remember that? Y'all remember Noxzema? That's what this smells like. I'm gonna do my brows really quick and I'm just using the wet n wild micro brow brow pencil in the shade deep brown I did the little concealer trick but I feel like I need to blend the concealer just a little bit more it's a little bit too bright for my liking. And I'm just blending it with a regular blending brush. It's still a little bit bright, but whatever. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Brow Lift. Love this stuff, I use it every single day. Even when I don't fill in my brows, I use this stuff. And I'm just going to set my brows in place. I love using a powder foundation to bronze because it gives the nice finish that I like. It's very like effortless and seamless. I'm gonna bronze my face with the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in the shade Deep 530 Warm. I hope that makes sense. Like, can you guys tell what I mean? It's just very, I don't know. It's more effortless and it blends out easier. Oh, and I love, love that. I'm gonna use a different brush to do this. So I'm gonna use this Rose Techniques brush to do it with. Bronze the chin up. Or the jawline, I mean. <laughs> I'm going to use this um, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder to dust underneath my eye and also brighten it. If you've been following me for a while, then you know I love a bright under eye. So I'm just sweeping, but also patting. So I just do a little bit of that and then go underneath. So I'm not gonna put on any lashes because I am wearing lash extensions, but I need a fill. I just don't really wanna do much to my eyes. I kinda like the way that it looks right now. It's very natural. So I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Breakup Proof waterproof retractable gel eyeliner and i'm just gonna use this for a mirror but i'm just going to go along my lash line sort of like the outer point the outer point of my lash line and just darken it up a bit and i only bring it to like the halfway point Yeah, I like that. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna set my face using the Stay All Night Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. It's long lasting wear, it's by e.l.f. My face is like super matte. <laughs> All right, so highlight. We're using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I like using this highlight shade even when, like during the summer months is when it's my absolute favorite, but I use it all the time anyway, but especially during the summer, the way that the sun hits this highlight, y'all. Like today it's very sunny and I think the temp is like 66 degrees, so yes, I'm here for it. I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but up close, baby girl face is sitting, okay? Sitting. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my nose. So right there. And right here. For my lips, I'm gonna use the NYX lip pencil in the shade Espresso. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of nutmeg. As you guys can see, I clearly love this pencil. I've used it all the way down to where it's damn near a nub, but I'm gonna just go in and shade my lips just a little bit because with this hair color, I feel like brown lips would just be so sexy. Now I'm gonna go in with NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sugar High. I am obsessed with this color on me. It looks so good. And speaking of this hair, I wanna give a special thank you and shout out to Clay Hair for sponsoring today's video. This is their 24 inch Auburn Body Wave wig. It is 150% density. The parting space is a 13 by four, so it stops here, but it's fine. Cause you know, for the bust down middle part, or if you wanna do a side part, you have that option. You guys already know I've worked with Clay multiple times in the past. I really do love their hair, which is why I don't mind working with them. But this hair is so soft, you guys. It's so bouncy. I personally love getting body wave wigs because I find that they hold a curl better than a straight wig. And I'll show you guys how I curled it just in case you have never watched me before this is your first time here but basically i just take this wand curler this is by remington it's very old and i take my hair and i just wrap it around and i don't do it all the way to the end so i leave like a little piece here and let it flow and then This color on me is fire. I have never done this hair color before. I've done a color similar, but not this color. And this on me is fire. In my humble opinion, of course. I just let the curls sort of fall. And then I just take a wide tooth comb and comb it back. out I sort of like the messy bedhead beach waves it's like my signature look these days all right let me go get dressed and then I'll be back to close out the video I am dressed and ready to go and I just like how simple this whole thing came together but what I will say is that I did not expect from my face to be sitting the way that it is y'all i did not expect for this to be full coverage because it doesn't feel like full coverage but it looks it looks like full coverage and i think i may have misunderstood or misinterpreted the cc cream whole thing i didn't know this was going to be full coverage i really didn't 
So, um, yeah, I'm shocked. I just want to say drugstore products have really stepped their game up. I'm going to this festival next month and this may be the makeup look that I do because I feel like this is going to withstand true heat, like desert heat. So, yeah. So I want to thank Clay here again for sponsoring today's video. I will have all of the details about the hair as well as the products used listed in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video, supporting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on your way out. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.